Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Hello guys, and welcome to Let's Play Serena. I have heard that this game is really good, but uh, it also photo has... photo right there. Okay. Maybe I could have another look. <laughs> it also has no save options, so... Maybe all in one go. Uh, okay. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors, laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of okay. ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. I got it. You always put too much salt in, dear. Think about your pressure. Red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of Miss Gavin. Hey, it's Gavin. I was ringing. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet, I don't feel hungry. Well, because you're depressed, obviously. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. <laughs> okay. You silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. It belongs in a museum. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably okay? brought over by the pilgrims. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Keep us time. Common sense and other love. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. That's just cute. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No, of course not. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. 
I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Oh. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Oh. The most comfortable spot yes, okay. in the cabin. Oh, okay, okay. Well, along I'm with sorry, the bed. Sorry, this is going to happen every time. Whoa. Can you talk about this? Mm, no. Okay. Can I talk about the window? This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. I can make out nothing through this window. Yeah, I agree. Uh. Floor here. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones. Fairies, weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. Okay. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Then open it. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Sure, if you say so. We found this trunk at a flea market. I, I, I got we it. We used I got to love it. rummaging I, around okay. those in our early years. Mm. Go here first. Hey, don't freeze on me. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan knees. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Then why are we here? Y you won't open anything. You won't open this trunk. You won't open this closet. Why? Maybe later. Okay. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Alright. She used to keep magazines, paperback novels, I usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Good night, love. She would always bring her reading material like I did. Uh, why are these nightstands so empty? Dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. 
Oh my god, he opened something. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. Okay. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. Yeah, but... A plant is a plant. Beautiful yes, to okay. some. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Okay. I'm here. Oh, is he gonna talk about how he had sex with her? Please Our no. refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Cool. Interesting. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... Luxury? Okay. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Fine, fine. You won't sleep then. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm -hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. Maybe she took it with her. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Mm. Mm. She also had a brush, but okay. I can't see it anywhere. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. Where's the bathroom, even? Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. Did your lover die or something? Like from... Like being killed or what? After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. Okay. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. Huh? The sunlight can be confusing, oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? 
The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. I can't understand. I hate those ticking sounds. can't sleep. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. As if it mattered. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. The sun is streaming through the window. No reason to turn this on. Skin quest. Okay. Up very close and okay. Let's try okay, it's been goats. Okay. Language lessons in lingerie with Idolia Eratsis. Okay. Book pastic interview with Morgan Valner. I'm terrified of the. Okay. She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. That looks interesting. You can always try it. I read it for the articles, of course. Like that one by the guy. That one about the <laughs> thing. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some way through the woods. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. Erotic, not obscene. She's beautiful, but what's her obsession with dolphins? Yeah, I don't know. Also, I see a nipple. I needed some incentive to go check the yes, mailbox sure. from time to okay. time. Put it back. It's some way through the woods. Anything else? Oops. Well, anyway. Okay. Can I leave now? What is this? Y you want to talk about it? Kind of disturbing. Oh, okay. Nothing here either. Okay, can we go? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. Comes back? What? True friends stand by each other through any items. Okay. 